Hello, my beautiful Taurus Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your September 1st through 15th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this wonderful energy. And always remember, this is a collective reading, which means it's for all Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have your own personal reading, please visit my website. And if you look below, there's a code for the Labor Day celebration, 20% off. I hope you can use that discount. And I'll be looking forward to doing a reading with you at royalmystic.com. Let's see what we've got going on in the energy as we move forward. We have the Ace of Cups, which is a blessing from divine, and the Justice card. So the Ace of Cups is the energy of being very much in a place of new beginnings, the new moon cycle coming in, the energy of the Akashic Record, the all-seeing eye, and the blessing of the Holy Grail. <clears throat> the Holy Grail is the energy of all the DNA that ever is, was, or will be in the beautiful elixir of life where you can create using your manifestation with the building blocks of this energy. So it's really a huge gift from divine to give you everything you need to create whatever you can believe in. Then you have the justice card, Libra Major Arcana, which is the energy of divine focus. As you move your energy, not your physical body, but your energy, your energetic body, and allow yourself to push past the realm of what you can see into the realm of creation. So these two cards together are really important. And the justice card also means right decisions being made by you and for you. So let's see what we've got. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit, the fool, new beginning. So surely this is what's going on. The beautiful energy of the fool is always welcome, especially when we're talking about change. This is moving you forward very seamlessly into the future. The new adventure begins while closing the door to the past simultaneously. So nothing is lingering or trying to hold you back. So... Very nice. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Taurus, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. And I had a nice little pull, <laughs> so I had to pause there. The energy pulled back on me so the words wouldn't come out. Let's see what we've got as we start. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So this is mastering something new or polishing up your skills from something you previously had been doing. And it can take you further because it is the energy of coming to a completion in, in the learning process of this, and it can be on the job training. It can be something that you're getting ready for uh, just because you know you need to polish those skills. And it also means something that you can self-teach. It doesn't have to be an official learning. You can do it yourself. And that energy of these pinnacles up in the air are the new financial possibilities coming in through the knowledge that you're gaining here. We have the Seven of Swords, which is walking away from what no longer serves you, allowing you to be in the energy of change, and that can mean a new job, so th hence the new training. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to leave that company. It could be a promotion. It's also letting go of things like drama and people that may cause that kind of drama. Uh, it can be packing and moving, relocating, all kinds of things can be happening with the Seven of Swords. The most important thing is that you do realize what it's saying is whatever you're leaving behind is something that you shouldn't take with you. So just let yourself move forward without it. We have a rest energy here. This means the Four of Swords is telling you your, your little emergency tank is going off saying, hey, it's time to refuel. So you have to do the self-care in order to keep yourself in balance and in your highest wonderful capacity. Because when you're on a low vibe energy, you can't really process things the same way. And you may cause yourself to miss an opportunity just because you're not able 
to move with that energy. So restore and renew. This is the Two of Pentacles, and it's allowing you to stay in your flow. It is absolutely building momentum. So whatever you're trying to create is literally coming forward in rainbow light. As long as you stay focused, this card cautions you not to turn away and pay attention to some other chaos. Keep your focus only on what you're doing because that's what's most important right now. We have the Two of Rods, which is the energy of stepping into your future. Either one of these is really wonderful and it allows you to go forward, but you have to choose the one that aligns with you in order not to feel like you're second guessing yourself the entire way. Now we have the lovers, Gemini Major Arcana, the twin energy. Now that's also got the two choices here. This energy is about following your higher path and being in a higher connection. If this is about a relationship, it means you're in a soul connection with this other person. And if it's about yourself, it's the energy of being in your highest frequency, moving towards your ultimate goal in life. This is alignment with your path. So whatever you're called to do, and it can be Gemini energy if you have that kind of uh, relationship going on with another person. And we have the Queen of Cups, which is the energy of being able to move forward. Having It's literally, so she's got the cup in her hand, but it's like having your heart in your hand, being open, ready to extend yourself out into the universe. This is the Queen, so it is fertility and new beginnings. You also have the parting of the clouds as the light pours through. So cautiously optimistic for the future, but ready to, to start moving in that direction. Optimistic is the key word there. Going in the right direction, you have your career and finance energy starting with the Six of Swords. And this is allowing yourself to take your skills and abilities and move forward with the moon right there, shining that beautiful energy forward as you have the ability to take that and move in the direction of your new beginning, which you know that's what it's asking you to do is make this change. And it moves you into the energy of good communication, solid foundation, and security. The Four of Rods is a very secure energy, very stable energy. We have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is your heart's desire being granted. It's a celebratory energy. It's a wonderful, beautiful, blessed energy. So whatever's coming for you is absolutely in alignment with what you're, what you're working toward. So this feels stable, secure, satisfied, and celebratory. And you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is your Taurus Queen. This is where you stand in the energy of new beginnings because it is a female energy or feminine energy. That means prosperity and growth, new beginnings, fertility, uh, bringing in new things while you remain stable with that beautiful pillar encrusted with emeralds. It's a solid gold pillar. And you've got money in hand, which indicates it's available to you. You're not in a place where all your money is put somewhere else. You actually have it to where you can, you can use it. We have the King of Swords, which is Archangel Michael energy. It's also air sign, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. In the masculine, as you see, these two, two individuals are very aligned with what's moving forward because this is the feminine and the masculine. The masculine is the protective energy, something fully formed and established. And as Archangel Michael, it allows you to move forward with all obstacles being removed. And we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a blessing in disguise. Sometimes something appears that we, we don't quite recognize it as being what we asked for because it doesn't look the same and the circumstance isn't what we thought it would be. But that is the Holy Grail being offered by the hand of the universe. So allow yourself to, to investigate this fully. Now, it doesn't mean every offer that comes in is going to be the one that is the blessing in disguise, but you certainly don't want to let it slip through your fingers. So do your due diligence before you say no to anything. And the underlier is the five of swords, which is where we feel kind of at a stalemate, like we've been just battling forever. This is what I call having battle fatigue because we're not sure that we can continue. But when you look closer at the picture, you can see the, the battle's over. You've already won. 
Now, you can see that that's done, but sometimes we don't really register it and you haven't been officially told what to do next. So just hold where you are, let yourself recover, and then you can move when you get the get the message of what your options are to move forward. Don't don't belittle yourself and be in a place where you say, oh, this this was up. This was nothing. I did all this work and it didn't. It has worked. You just don't know it yet. Let it let it have time to to get to you. Universe is working on that part. Oh, and you even have a timing. With the three of swords, you have the energy of these at the right time, three days, three weeks, three months, third time's a charm. This energy will remove those swords and you will be able to move forward with your whole heart and whatever you choose to go for. So that's a very nice timing energy. And that's my timing card. That's what I've been given from my guides. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides. Gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Taurus, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. <clears throat> we thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, which means the abundance is on its way. It's been allotted by divine and we are now able to move forward without fear, knowing that this energy is moving in. So that Eight of Pentacles is paying off with that Knight of Pentacles. There's the two of pentacles again telling you no matter what the chaos is, stay focused on the goal. Keep your energy flowing. Don't stop and, and drop your, your whole deal just because somebody else is having an emergency. Um, sacrifice will not get you anywhere. Remember, this card entails if you, if you try to go out and rescue the people that are in the boats back here, they're in this little storm, you're not a ship's captain. They have a captain. You'd be sacrificing yourself completely, even if you made it to the boat, which the way that looks, it will be a dicey situation. You'll lose everything you gained or what you're working on, and you're just in the same boat they are. You're no better off, and you've sacrificed everything you have. That's not the way to do it. You have to be in a place where it's a win-win. Hello, win-win. So as long as you allow yourself to recover fully, you'll be in this energy of the Ten of Cups. This is the highest frequency of all healing, abundance, love, happiness. This is the happily ever after card. It means your best possible life now. So give yourself time for that. And we have the Page of Cups, which is the energy of the universe reminding us it is the source of all abundance and there is more than enough. The wave continues to flow throughout time and memoriam with the energy of the cup with that fish in it is saying the universe will always provide. So you don't have to be in question. And if you keep yourself in that energy of knowing there's always more than enough and push that lack energy away, you'll be able to really make some progress. Talk about abundance. Here comes the eight of rods, which is literally raining down opportunities, new possibilities communication, negotiation, and for some people, air travel as we move into this energy. So that's beautiful. Hello, Ten of Pentacles. Everybody loves this card. And no doubt it is a really great card. It is the abundance of a lifetime. So you've got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles out here. This is spectacular. So whatever new money moves you're making, Taurus, it's really good. The Page of Swords is going to give you all the information you need while you're looking forward to proceeding. The Page of Swords is absolutely amazing as we move into that energy or giving you the information. And you've got the Page of Rods, which is giving you the notification where it's time to launch forward. He's telling you how to do that and what to do to get to proceed. And that's what he's giving the message of, what action you need to take. Now, as we step into the, the next energy, we've got this, you know, some a little bit of regret going on, maybe even feeling a little 
sad that you have to start over. However, this is already being provided. There's two cups out here. If you keep focusing on the backwards view, then you can't proceed forward into what's even better. And through this doorway, the four of rods can stand for a threshold. So step through the doorway to the future, leave the past where it belongs, and you can't do anything about the past unless you make moves in the future to change that. There's the Six of Swords again saying you're going in the right direction for your heart's desire to be granted. So beautiful confirmation there as you are in the place of victory and you can move forward. Sometimes we get in a place of that Five of Cups energy because we're leaving behind people that we do and have good relationship with for, you know, as we change position. However, it's okay. You can stay in contact with those people. It's, it's just sometimes sad that we have to leave something behind. And that may be part of that Five of Cups energy. So the Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. This is the energy of growth and expansion of abundance. Because as we put our effort into this one coin here, it brings you back double. For, for what you're processing. So make sure you don't take any shortcuts because this is the energy of expansion. And here's that seven of swords saying we are cutting loose from the things that we no longer can take with us, leaving the past where it is or leaving, you know, positions or people or things that even could be habits. Uh, we're changing our energy. So that's a blessing. <coughs> And that wonderful Four of Cups is coming in with the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is that timing that we had at the beginning. So it's showing up again. So you know that's a definite confirmation. Three days, three weeks, three months. Third time's the charm. And with the Five of Swords, we have the Five of Pentacles. So just a little note on that. The Five of Pentacles is where something is coming into form. It's just not visible to you yet. Remember, 95% of the universe, we cannot detect with our human eyes, taste, touch, smell, or feeling because we don't have the perception for the higher frequencies. It's there. It's just not available for us to see. Just like if I were to cover this on the card, does that mean it goes away just because I can't see it? No, it's still there. Just wasn't in my view, because it wasn't available for me to see. So you see, they're looking pretty pathetic, feeling like they're a lost cause, or they didn't get something. And now you've got these five pinnacles here that are aligned for you as it comes through. Just let it have time to develop. Remember, you're in this place of hold until it's time to move forward. And you're going to know when it's time to move forward, because they're going to give you the prompt for it. So you're in the middle of a transition, my Taurus friends, and you're going to come out better on the other side. I send you lots of love and light, many blessings to you all, and I will see you very soon. Don't forget about the discount. Take advantage while you can. Namaste, my friends.